Hey, Big Stew friends. Thanks for hanging out with me. Obviously, I'm Big Stew, and this is another video on boxing. We're going to be opening up today, move this out of the way, our very late um, Loot Crate Marvel Gear and Goods box. And this box originally was scheduled, I believe, scheduled for July. And then I was told it would be delayed till middle of August. And it didn't come until um, almost September, I guess it was. And it's just, it just was really late. So I did get this at a discount price. Normally this is like a $45 box, maybe $50 with shipping. I think they charge $5 shipping for this. So it's like $50, maybe possibly $51, full retail price. Now I've only paid, I think, one box at full retail price like that. It started off cheaper. I think they started off at... 35 originally and then went up to 45 um, since the box started if I have my mind in the right spot anyways and this theme was take the lead and which was a kind of an odd name of a theme but it, but it all had all superpower women maybe I guess them taking the lead over the superpower men or superhero men or whatever um, they did put out like a little card, and it spotlighted Squirrel Girl, Black Widow, She-Hulk, and Captain Marvel. So I got this at a discount price, because I wouldn't have paid for a full price for this. It's too much of a gamble. The only thing I wanted really was an item of She-Hulk out of here. Hopefully there's something decent She-Hulk. Um, but that's about it. The rest I will trade or pass on. So we're going to open this up. My son has already opened up this. This box came beat up pretty much. And you kind of can see like that, beat up in this corner and all. So even it doesn't even stand on its side because it's beat up. So nothing's supposed to be damaged, he said. So we're going to take a look at it. It is, uh, I'll say this, it is a very heavy box. It's not a very big box. It is a heavy box. Okay. This is a card, and then it has items on the back, and we'll talk about that later. But this was kind of like a theme, one of the theme cards that they passed out. Inside, it has Captain Marvel art, and then inside, there's like a poster and a t-shirt. And it looks like my t-shirt's a She-Hulk, because I can see the green on it. Okay, first thing, let's look at this poster. small poster. Okay, it's a little bent here on the end, a little tiny piece here. Luke Kate, Gear and Goods, doesn't say who it is. Oh, Captain Marvel. So this is Captain Marvel poster. And on the back it says Luke Kate, but not at the top. Okay, so we got a Captain America, I mean Captain Marvel poster. I know there's going to be a lot of push for her. She's the next Marvel movie coming out, I believe, February. February or March. I think it's February. And poster. So, like I said, I'm not... I liked her when she was Miss Marvel. But I've not really been a fan of the Captain Marvel costume and, and everything that they've done with her. With the Carol Danvers. So, but anyways. Okay, next thing, let's look at the t-shirt. It's black and white. It's soft. Looks like a baseball shirt. And uh, let's see. Can you see this? So it has. I'm trying to show it to you here. So it has She Hulk on it. And it's very colorful. It's long sleeves, like a baseball shirt. So it's black and white. So it's pretty cool. Hold that. You should be able to see that. I don't know. So it's greens, blacks, and a little bit of yellow coming through at the bottom down there. So, obviously, that's the She-Hulk item. Okay, we got a pen. And this is the new Miss Marvel character. Again, not a fan, but it's not designed for me or marketed to me. This is trying to get young girls into reading comics. I know, so that's uh, the pen. So, we have three items so far. And here's a lanyard, Captain Marvel lanyard. It says Captain Marvel one side, and then it has her colors. So, that's nice, but I will trade this, obviously. So, 
all right, you know, if I want to keep the pen, I might keep the pen for my pen collection. But uh, I will trade that. Then we got a Squirrel Girl little book. And I don't know if it's a comic or it's a journal. So let's open this up and see. It says Loot Crate on the back, so it's exclusive Loot Crate. And it just says a beautiful squirrel girl. And it has Ant Man. Looks like he's inside the paw of the squirrel, maybe. Okay, so it's just a journal, blank journal. I guess you can draw on it or take it to the cons and get somebody to draw on it for you. Different artists. So, that's that. Not worry about putting this away. So we got a squirrel girl, that's that item. Then we got a wasp bookmark. So I was right about this all being all female. So let's see what we got here. Loot Crate Marvel Goods on the back. Nice little box. Let's see. If I can open this up. Okay, well that's nice. So it's a wasp little metal. I'm not going to take it out because I will trade this, but it's a metal um, bookmark. But it is nice. Okay, I still have more. Still have something else on the bottom here. Let's see what we got? A book, hardcover book. This is what's heavy. Okay, so we got a hardcover book. Uh, it's a little smaller than comic size. I'm um, holding it up to a DVD, a uh, Blu-ray. You can kind of see the size of it. And Black Widow, obviously. This is the Black Widow theme. Creating the Avengers, Avenging Super Spy. The Black Widow creating the Avenging Super Spy. This is probably art and goes through. Okay, this is interesting. Okay. So, it has art and it actually has a few comics of Black Widow in here. It goes through the character, talks about the different mini series, and all. This was the inspiration of of the Avengers, where she was as a blonde, which was a totally different character in the comics. But they went ahead and made her blonde as undercover. And so I'm trying to think. There's a lot of art in here, and a lot of comic covers that she's been in. I'm trying to see if there's an actual, look like there was an actual full story comic in here. And maybe I'm wrong about that being a full, nope, doesn't look like there's any full art in here, full comic. I thought there was a full comic in here. It's just art in, in pinup pages and art from comics. And I guess it's her main, main stories that she's been guest starred in. And stuff, and then her own mini series and, and her series. So, this is very nice. It doesn't have a price tag on it. Probably would go for 20 hardcover book, easy 20, but it's exclusive. So, got a She Hulk shirt, Black Widow hardcover, um, Cat Marvel poster, Cat Marvel lanyard, Squirrel Girl sketchbook, a Wasp metal bookmark, and then the pin of Miss Marvel. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Counting them again. Seven items um, in this. So I guess it's nice if these are characters that you like and you're a girl and you like these heroes or you're a guy and you like a lot of these heroes. I mean, I like Black Widow and I, you know, I'm not a big fan of Cat Marvel the way she is now currently. Um, I like the She Hulk shirt. I'll probably actually give that to my wife. Um, and that'll probably be the only thing I'm going to keep. The rest of this I'll probably trade. I'm not sure if I'll keep this book. Possibly I'll keep this book. Um, otherwise I'll probably just trade most of this box. So the shirt would pretty much about pay for the box. I think I paid about $20 for the box, $22. And the shirt probably is $15. You can give the shirts. So, but I will definitely earn more than that on my store credit. So you got seven items, that's cool. The poster is really small, that almost doesn't count. So say you give it six items, that's still pretty good um, in the box. 
and everything. So I'm probably going to rate this box probably a 7. It just doesn't do much for me. Just the t-shirt's the only thing I'm interested in. The bookmark is nice. It's Wasp. It's a nice quality bookmark. It's metal. These bookmarks at the bookstores go for $10 to $15 easy. I've seen some go as high as $20, the bookmarks. So, so it is a nice quality. Don't get me wrong. It's just not the stuff I'm really in, interested in. But that's I went ahead and ordered it. I knew I'd take a gamble on it. No, but it was like so late. Um, like six weeks late, it seems like. Uh, it's 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 a bi-monthly box, so every other month. So the next one, which I'm expecting it to be late, probably too, when it gets closer. But the next one is supposed to be all Spider-Man. I know that you get a little hoodie t-shirt of the Scarlet Spider. Um, the light blue part of his costume. and Which isn't bad to wear and knock around the house. I had gotten um, Spider-Man shorts before. Um, from a previous Spider-Man box, um, lounge pant shorts around the house. So I might go ahead and get this if I can get a discount. I might get the next box, just because it's all Spider-Man themed. Spider-Man is popular, so you know I can easily trade anything I don't want out of it. And uh, so you know, so I'm probably going to most likely, as long as I can find at least a discount, I will probably get the next box. Um, for our next video. Um, let you know. So, I mean, I hope you like this box. Tell me what you think. If you thought it was an exciting box, is it characters that you care for? Um, you know, the quality. These are nice. Loot Crate makes these every so often. We've gotten a couple of these through Loot Crate that were like, um, um, I believe they were, maybe they were Marvel too. I can't remember if they were Marvel or DC, but Loot Crate has put several of these out with super villains and heroes. Unusual super villains, unusual heroes, or something like that. My son has a couple of these small books like this. I think they're actually slightly smaller than this. And uh, but I mean, this is a nice book. So don't get me wrong. So I might end up just keeping it and uh, read up on on Black Widow and everything. That'd be an interesting um, go through our history. But um, but it's just these types of boxes is just a, you know it's a catch either way. You just don't know what you're getting. And you're paying more money. You know, it's more premium stuff. But it's not as premium, I feel, as the DX boxes. I think the DX boxes are $35 boxes. And these are $45 boxes. So I feel like this box could be a little bit bigger. Or added some more larger items. Um, would maybe make it better if you're paying that more um, for it. But anyways, so let's move on. I gave it a 7. I'm going to give it a 7 and stay at a 7. Our next box, I, our next video, we will be doing a... Uh, um, I'm getting a Loot Crate free box that was a special during July 4th weekend. You ordered one and you ordered one or two boxes or something and then you got a free one. I think it's a mixture, it's going to be a mixture of stuff of previous boxes. And uh, so, and I've been notified finally, I totally forgot about that. I thought maybe I didn't qualify or something, something, you know, I didn't click the right thing or whatever. Because I've normally have been ordering, then canceling, ordering, canceling, and not staying on. Just recently, the Loot Crate, I've been ordering that and uh, and carrying it on. I did skip the month of Mayhem in August, which was my son's box. I believe we did the last video. Um, but anyway, so the next video, I believe, will be this box, as long as it comes in on time. And then I also will be ordering. Um, I Well, not ordering. I ordered um, first Monday of September. Um, I was able to order the next um, Lego monthly mystery box, and I've been getting those, so I really like those a lot. My yeah, eye itches, sorry. And so I'm going to go ahead and we'll be doing a video on that, and that's supposed to be here anytime soon. So that might come in first, or, or my Loot Crate box, free box, comes in, and so we'll do that. I am also um, ordering um, several of the Loot Crate boxes, uh, a Loot Wear my first time, my son's ordered it, but my first time I'm ordering the Loot Wear because it's a Venom shirt. And and the theme for September with Loot Crate is Invaders or Invasion. I can't remember offhand, but it's going to have the themes of X-Files, Aliens, Predators, and Venom. And uh, so that seems all cool stuff. And I'm definitely ordering the DX box in that theme, the regular Loot Crate box in that theme. And also the Loot Wear t-shirt, the single t-shirt, which is Venom. I've already seen it. Big face of Venom. So hopefully all that comes in in time so I can go see Venom in October when it comes out. And that's my goal to get that t-shirt before then. 
And uh, but anyways, so that's what I have upcoming. Um, I am going to be ordering Amazon's now picked up Star Wars, and they are putting out in October a Star Wars box. The theme is Cloud City. I'll be ordering that. Also coming in later on in September um, is the Marvel box that's from um, from Amazon, and that's going to be Venom theme to the movie, from my understand. And so that ought to be a cool box. So there's a lot of Venom stuff I got coming out um, in my boxes. And so that's really about it. I've just kind of been picking up, doing some Loot Crate stuff, um, because there's no word on the DC box at all. And uh, so we'll see how, you know, if anybody picks up DC. Um, I'm hoping in a few days, I believe it's in a few days, um, DC is starting up. Uh, they're, uh, we've already pre-ordered for it, and DC is starting up their their DC Universe, um, kind of like a Netflix, Marvel Unlimited type of thing, um, channel, and, uh, so maybe that'd be cool if you can order, they would pick up, they're claiming they're going to have merchandise to sell, that would be really cool and a cool place for them to, uh, do the DC Funko stuff through their website, through that channel, so that'd be awesome if maybe they would pick that up and do that. So I don't know. But so far since February, there's been no word, nobody partnering up with Funko's DC. And maybe it's just because they didn't do as well. I don't know. Maybe they didn't have as many subscribers as the Marvel and Star Wars boxes um, and Disney or whatever. So but I'm hoping that DC will pick up again um, through somebody. Maybe Amazon will. Um, who knows? But anyway, so that's it. I went over almost 17 minutes and I didn't want to go that long. So... So, catch you later, my friends. Um, and the next one, like I said, is going to be either the, uh, the free loot crate or my mystery box. So, see you later, my friends. Bye.